All right, sixth graders. My name is Mr. Michael, and I just want to welcome you to Cloverleaf Middle School. Now, the minute that you walk through the doors of Cloverleaf Middle School on your first day of school, which is September 8th, you're going to be walking up the stairs. Now, that is where all the sixth grade classes are going to be. They're going to be on the third floor. And you're going to be welcomed by your teachers, and they're going to check you in, and they're going to give you an assigned seat in your classroom. Now, the only time you're going to be leaving those classrooms is to go to the cafeteria, to go to the bathroom, or to go to your essentials classes. Now, the essentials classes are located in room 209 and 210 in the gymnasium, and on the third floor, which is where you guys are at, in the two media centers. So those are the only times you're going to be leaving your classroom. With that being said, the cool thing about this is not only will you be staying in the classroom, the teachers are actually going to be rotating for you. So they're going to be coming into the classroom to teach you different subjects. Now, without further ado, the sixth grade team has produced an amazing video for you to show you kind of the overview of what your day and life at Cloverleaf Middle School is going to be like. So, without further ado, I give you Mr. Wilson, who's going to show you all that.
Yeah, that sixth grade team did a wonderful job producing that video. On top of that, what we're also gonna do is we're gonna move into getting to know a couple other teachers that are gonna be in the building. Hi everyone, I'm Mrs. Smith, and I'm down here in the resource room, room 114, and I'm going to be teaching primarily language arts and math. I can't wait to get started. I'm looking forward to seeing everybody, and um, I think we're going to have a wonderful school year together. So can't wait to see you. Bye. Hi guys, I'm Mr. Manos. I am the uh, sixth, seventh, and eighth grade resource room. Um, we're getting ready for the new school year, so we want to introduce ourselves. Uh, we're excited to have you guys back. Um, my room will primarily be math and language arts for eighth grade. Um, I will have some uh, other subjects mixed in throughout the day. We're excited to have you back. We have a lot of safety procedures. It's going to be a little bit of a different year, but it's going to be exciting, and we can't wait to have you guys here. Hey everybody, uh, I'm Mr. Michael. I teach art here at the middle school, and this is the Essentials team. And we got right here Mr. Wachtel, and I'll be your tech teacher, and we'll be doing keyboarding and coding. I'm Mr. Murphy, I teach physical education and health. I'm Mr. Tim, I teach music, I'll be with band and choir. And I'm Mrs. Leonard, I teach choir. Hi, I'm Mrs. Gasper, I also teach physical education and health. Hi, I'm Mrs. Petrock, I teach foreign language, so you may be taking Spanish or French, or eighth graders will be a combination. So we'd like to welcome you all back, and it's looking like it's going to be a fun year. See you soon! Hey! All right. all right, now that you've met a couple teachers and the Essentials team, we're going to go over to Nurse Dawn, who's going to go over some protocols that have been put in place for your safety. Hello, this is Nurse Dawn from Cloverleaf Middle School. Like everything else this year, the clinic has also changed um, its guidelines and policies on what we are doing. This year, we have divided the clinic into several parts to minimize exposure to our sick children. The clinic will always be sanitized between students, and at night, we'll have a deep cleaning um, each night. To start, I want to talk about the differences um, this year that you may have noticed um, different from last year. Parents bringing in medication will meet in the office vestibule, so you will not be coming into the actual office to drop off medication. You will be in the vestibule, and I will meet you there to talk about the paperwork and to get the medication from you. Um, if your child takes daily medication, they will no longer come into the clinic to get that medication. When they come down, we're gonna utilize the um, window next to the cafeteria for daily medication. So that way, this reduces the amount of time that your child is exposed to anybody that is sick in the clinic. Um, if your child feels ill, uh, we will have a triage system that's gonna be outside of the, the main office. Students are not gonna be coming into the clinic um, unless they've been triaged by me first before they can come in. The clinic, since it's now divided um, into areas, we can only allow at the most three students in here. So we do wanna um, make sure that the ones that are in here are the ones that we need to isolate first before we go and take someone who might be just injured um, where I can treat them outside the office rather than coming into the clinic. Um, per the Ohio Department of Health guidelines, parents will need to pick up their child within the hour unless this is discussed with me ahead of time. So we do make provisions, um, especially if you're coming a long way from work to pick up your child. Um, I would suggest that maybe you have a back, um, backup person that can available to pick up your child. Um, when picking up your child, you will stay in the office vestibule to sign them out. We are not gonna have you come into the office to physically sign the child out. If you're not feeling well yourself, please let me know at that time. We can make arrangements for us to walk your child out to the car and we will sign them out. Um, so please let me know when I do um, call you. I do follow the guidelines from the Ohio Department of Health regarding ill students and COVID symptoms at school and when the student can return to school. These guidelines, guidelines can be found on our Cloverleaf website under the Parents tab and you just scroll down to the nurse section um, and everything is there that you need. If not, please feel free to call me at any time. As an RN, I do not diagnose medical issues. If your child is experiencing any COVID-19 symptoms, um, they will be required to be picked up unless there's a medical reason indicated by a medical note, such as asthma or allergies. In order for your child to return, if they have two or more of the COVID symptoms, we will either need a medical note from the doctor or you will 
be required to quarantine your child for 10 days. They will not be able to come back. Um, if there's any questions, I know this was very short and brief, feel free to call me at 330-302-0203 is my direct line. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching and paying attention to this. Thank you again for your patience and your kindness. All I can say is that I love you guys. I'm really looking forward to meeting you all. And we are going to be having a great first year at the Cloverleaf. I know things are going to be different, but we're going to make it just as special as the previous.